That's a great pleasure that I welcome are the husband and wife duo of Kevin and Wendy Yates. Uh, they have their daughter Amanda and Mike. You're the armadillo wrangler uh, this morning. Uh, it, it's, uh, they're, they're the founders of Natured, uh, Nurtured by Nature, a unique nonprofit who work in cooperation with the Make-A-Wish uh, program for children. So I want to say thank you very much for driving all the way down uh, from uh, Palmo Valley and Valley Center area and bringing your special, our special guest uh, today, uh, which they're going to introduce in a few minutes. And what is this? That is Kathy Laura. World's largest rodent, but a small version of it. Oh, all right. A baby. a baby capybara. All right. And is this this is an armadillo? It's a three-banded armadillo. This is cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's his name. Oh, her, her, his name? Her. Oh, her name. Okay. Okay. So um, June is is uh, Children's Awareness Month, and it's my honor to highlight Nurtured by Nature organization uh, that actually began, uh, unfortunately, at a great cost and loss. Uh, through their personal uh, hardships, um, Kevin and Wendy, their home was destroyed in the wildfires in 2003. And they received such a, a you know, great outpouring of benefits and bountiful amount of support from the community, uh, it inspired them to initiate Nurtured by Nature in 2008 and give back to the community. So their program provides once in a lifetime experiences for children facing life terminal illnesses, uh, and by allowing individuals to interact with, feed, and touch animals in their facility, uh, ranging from their most popular, the, what's the Asian clawed, the Asian small clawed otters and capybaras, this is capybaras, uh, two-toed sloths, lemurs, and many more animal, animals. We couldn't get them all in here today, but um, to, the purpose is uh, to foster hope and well-being for children who have suffered severe emotional trauma by allowing them to join, uh, to gain joy and happiness through physical interactions with nature. Uh, Nurtured by Nature is also an official make or wish maker through their partnership with Make-A-Wish Foundation, and they donated nearly $300,000 to the foundation to allow more children to enjoy the, the, and delight in animals and nature, and we're honored to have them. They were, as, they were honored to be as one of the Make-A-Wish Donor of the Year Award a couple years ago. Nurture by Nature has also been able to provide free programs and services to other organizations such as the Starlight Children's Foundation, the Dream Foundation, Big Brothers and Sisters, Big Sisters, the uh, Mary Lyons Foundation, the Elizabeth Hospice, and the Hospice of North County. Also, this uh, outstanding organization, uh, Nurture by Nature, collaborates and promotes conservation across the world, including working with the International Otter Survival Fund, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the Sloth, Anteater, and Armadillo Specialist Group. There's a group for everybody. Uh, Ecolife and many other organizations. But altogether, Nurtured by Nature has been an exceptional organization, and they've been committed to fostering a loving bond between animals and people and bringing the public face to face with unique animals in a safe and controlled environment and take on the responsibility to ensure the preservation and protection of some of our planets uh, and environment and animals. So whereas the County of San Diego is committed to recognizing and honoring those organizations and embodying the noblest ideas of the community, Nurtured by Nature is one such worthy organization. So therefore, be it proclaimed by myself and all the members of the San Diego County Board of Supervisors on this 27th day of June that we celebrate June as Children's Awareness Month and commend Nurtured by Nature for their continued dedication and encouraging the bonds between humankind and nature and positively changing children's lives with their Wishmaker program and to hereby declare this day and month to be Nurtured by Nature Month throughout San Diego County. So thank you very much. Uh, you want to hang out with us? You want to speak? Yeah, I'll speak. Uh, I'm having my order. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I apologize, I'm probably not as eloquent as some of the other speakers up here. Um, I'm kind of a, a big zookeeper. Um, but basically, the, the beginnings of us started um, with me as a child, and um, I wanted to really thank my parents because I uh, have ADHD, and um, my parents used animals as a way for therapy and to inspire me to get good grades and to make it through school and to deal with some of the challenges. So actually I was blessed with ADHD and I was cursed with it. It's a blessing and there's a curse. There's, there's good things. And so I feel like I have a lot in common with some of the other people that came up here and accepting people that are different and stuff like that. But I'm just very grateful to um, Jim Desmond for um, recognizing us and the entire Board of Supervisors. 
Um, and Adrian's been wonderful in helping us. We have started a new uh, facility on five acres. It was um, bought from Father Joe's. Um, and it's, we're turning it into, uh, we're calling it Otter Valley, but it's basically uh, a nature center to help people and inspire people like we've been inspired through the beauty of nature and the healing of nature and all the stuff that we've, we've been blessed with. So I, I especially have to thank my parents and, and our, my community and my wife and my daughter and my friends for um, taking some of the different things that I do or maybe more difficult things I do and turning them into good things, turning that energy into something positive. So I just really appreciate everybody, and we really look forward to being able to do good things for our community and for people and for children. And we've got all kinds of neat, probably more than we can do, but we've got a lot of um, very inspirational. I think you'll, uh, if anybody wants to talk about them or, or at any point uh, in the future, programs and things that we're going to do to help out uh, people in our county. And again, we, we'd like to really thank our community and uh, pretty much helped us to make all this happen. And I won't ramble on too much, but thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.